Hello YouTube and welcome back to the FIFA 17 Sunroll in career mode. This is episode 37 here today and as you can see here we're getting into the third Premier League game of the season and the first game of this episode which is away at White Hart Lane to Tottenham Hotspur. So as you can see here after we had that decent start to the season winning two games out of two against Swansea and Arsenal before losing in the EFL Cup to Cambridge we come up away to Tottenham here and we're just trying to battle for the ball here we win the fr throw in and we're just trying to get an attack here so I wanted to say thank you for the support and I'm sorry that this episode has taken so long to come up but as you as for it's been over a week since I last uploaded but as you can see they're coming through here Wanyama has the strike but None parries it straight back to him and he puts it past Manone at the near post so I think Manone probably could have done better with the first chance, but in the end we got a bit unlucky how he was able to put it in at the near post. So 1-0 to Tottenham, and like I'm saying, thanks for the support on recent videos, and sorry that the um, videos have been short, but hopefully next week I will get quite a few up, as I've been quite busy lately, but next week I should be more, f like I should have more free time. So a poor pass there by... Um, Craig Farrell as they're trying to get forward here um, they try and get the ball but Corchia wins it back gives it to um, Borini he gave it to Katamol who gave the ball away Wanyama then gives it into Youngman's son he beats his man gives it to um, Deli Ali back to um, Vincent Janssen who hits it first time with his weak foot into the bottom right hand corner bottom left hand corner sorry so in real life he hasn't been doing that well for Tottenham and but it's a decent strike from him here I thought the defending was pretty poor how the player didn't get in front of him and I was disappointed when it went in and as you can see here right on half time we have not had much possession 39 percent and they get a free kick right outside the box so they're going to have another chance to score here. Eric Lamella shaping up the ball, just setting my wall in a position. There, Lamella runs past it. Kyle Walker lays it off to Hyungman Son. It hits a player. For some reason, None still dove. We lost the ball, and Hyungman Son put it into the empty net. So pretty poor there from us. Not sure why Manone dove in the way that he did, but it was this shot that could have went in. He dove, the player tried to dribble it out, it was um, intercepted by Sun and it was a good finish to make it 3-0, so poor first half from us, hopefully we're trying to improve in the second half here. Danny Rose gives it to Wanyama, he gives it in to Kyle Walker, they're just trying to come forward again here, Deli Ali with the ball but Alexis Blin tackles him, Wanyama then wins it back for Tottenham, Youngman Sun down this left hand side, gets the ball, gives it eventually to um Harry Kane he cuts back gives it in no he doesn't he cuts back keeps the ball for a bit gives it to Deli Ali he is tackled by Sergi Gomez we play it down to Caramel Caramel with the run sees the run out wide by Servi he gives it into Servi he gets the ball out wide whips it in to Andre no to um <laughs> sorry for Boston he heads it down and a great finish by Borini sorry my commentating got a bit off there but it was a pretty good goal, I believe. A good ball by Servi, good header back, and a really good finish after the chest down by Borini. So we're back into the game, but as you can see here, with 15 minutes to go, they're trying to come forward again. Manone makes the save pretty easily from McCarthy's shot. We get the ball back, and Borini tries to dribble up, but a really good tackle by Rose wins it back. We do get the ball back, though, because the ball wasn't too good from Danny Rose. And... Uh, Declan John can just try and bring it forward for us by giving it to a um, survey. He runs down, puts it through to Andre Gray. Chance to make it 3-2 and a really bad finish by Andre Gray. That was a really good chance for us to go 3-2 with over 10 minutes left. We actually could have found a way back into the game there. But a really poor finish by Andre Gray. And as you can see here, we're coming into the 90th minute. The game is going to end 3-1 here. And... Yeah, I, in, in the last episode I got a comment because on the opening game of the season I showed the lineups and some, um, just one second, um, I was given a suggestion to um, show the lineups before more games more often and I said I would look into that and hopefully that will be happening soon. So... Um, I've recorded th these games and the ones from the next episode before this. Um, I've said this, so I will be doing it after then. But anyway, 
we should be showing the lineups before games more often after these, this episode and the next episode. But so that was suggested by Nandorez on YouTube, FIFA 17 content. That's his name on YouTube. He just left the comment. So thanks for the suggestion by him. And as you can see, we're getting into the second game of this episode, another away game, away to Manchester United at Old Trafford, and. Yeah, you can see Tim Krul now plays for them. He made a good save there. We then head the ball back, and we give it to Kadermol, and he um, forces Krul into another good save. So that was a really good effort by um, Kadermol. And as you could see there, Barini picked up an injury, so he will be going off injured there. So that's unfortunate for Barini. And as you can see, with half an hour to go, Manchester United are coming forward here. Um, James Wilson gives it to Mata. He gives it to Pogba out wide to Mares. Mares with the ball gives it to Pogba. He beats his man. They put it across. We miss the ball, and somehow Mata is able to pick it up there and put it past Benone. So, really poor defending from both our center backs to be away from the center there. And as you can see here, both center backs came to the near post, leaving Mata unmarked to put it past the keeper easily. So, as you can see here, 90th minute, we're coming forward with Servi. Serving with the ball into Danny Barrera. Barrera has the ball. He is taking on his man. Gives it back to Andre Gray. Gray gives it to Cadamol. Cadamol into Cohen Wood. Cohen Wood turns, tries to go through on goal, and is brought down by um, Darmian. And a penalty is given by the referee in injury time. A poor tackle by Darmian after a good turn by Cohen Wood. And as you can see here, Andre Gray with the penalty, stepping up to take it into the top left corner. And a really good penalty to make it 1 1. So, really good penalty by Andre Gray as we never gave up on this game we had a couple of chances earlier as you could see Krul making saves and we do get back into this game well and we're just happy to be coming away with this um, with should what should be a point and as you can see here from kickoff they pass it back to Pogba and while he is on the ball the referee blows the whistle for full time that is how that game finishes. A really good point for us away to Manchester United. So that's us on seven points already after four games. Looking pretty good for the season, hopefully, as we try and push towards the Europa League spots, Manchester if we're United lucky on. enough. It would have been nice to go on a bit of a cup run, but obviously we played poor against Cambridge. But if we do have um, a good position in the league coming into January, I will might may try and focus more on the FA Cup. So that is a possibility. So as you can see here at the end, of this game we get um, an update saying Barini has broken his ankle and will be out for three months so that's disappointing but we have players that can step into that role Walter Mathis will probably get into the team more he is starting here against Hull I do believe so we're looking to do well here as you can see we kick off Sergi Gomez and picks it up gives it to Adam Matthews who I think is ha having his first league appearance of the season he, um, we get it to Gray Gray gives it to Declan John John with the ball into Pharrell, just trying to build some it from kickoff. Kadermol picks up the ball, gives it to Borja Boston. He takes a really good couple touches, takes it in on the right-hand side and puts it into the bottom left-hand corner of the goal. A really good finish by Borja. And he did well after getting the ball from Kadermol, just taking the couple touches past his man, getting it a bit wide on the right, but a really good shooting position in the end. Just as he plays it through, the first touch is amazing to take it away and a good finish into the left-hand side of the goal. So, good goal for us to be taking. So, as you can see here, later on in the game, they whip it in. Catamol heads it clear. Larson goes for the header. It falls to Jake Livermore, who hits it into the back of the net. And a good goal for Hull. Disappointing defending from us as we were unable to clear it. As you can see here, with just about six minutes left of the game, they do get a goal back to make it 1-1. So after we scored a late goal to win, um, get a point in the last game, we've been disappointed by a later goal in this game. Not as late as our goal, and there was still time in this game, so we're just trying to come forward a bit more here. Larson has the free kick here as we're trying to get some in. I take a shot with Larson. It was possibly going in. It's saved, and as we try and get the ball into the, the um, box, it is blocked by El Mahabadi. Larson then whips in the corner, and um, Gomez heads it back. Low <laughs> Sorry, Larson picks it up. Conewood heads it on. Adam Matthews takes the touch, hits it on the turn with his left foot into the bottom right hand corner. Great finish by Adam Matthews to make it 2 1. So, what a goal that is for us to come away with another late goal and hopefully a win. Good header by Conewood. Great touch to get away from his man and a good turn and finish by Adam Matthews to make it. 
2-1 to Sunderland and as you can see here the game is coming towards an end here as they kick off injury time will come up but the game is going to end like that that is also how the episode is going to finish so if you did enjoy this episode please do leave a like as that is much appreciated that as you can see Rodriguez had a good strike there and but anyway like I say once again thank you for watching if you want to see any more of this series, please do subscribe. If you enjoyed it, please do leave a like, as that is much appreciated. But once again, thanks for watching. I've said that too often. But anyway, see you later.